Valentine gift ideas. Little bears. We start by picking the marshmallows with best form. The big ones are for the face, and the small ones cut in half are for the little ears. Remember to wash your hands and use the scissors that only are used for food. To stick the little ears, we'll use royal icing. You can check our video, Royal Icing Easy Recipe, in our channel. We stick the little ears. and we let them dry. We repeat the steps until finishing all the little faces that we need. I'll make four for my little box. If you don't have flower marshmallows, you can cut a twisted marshmallow. For the centerpiece, we will make some little skewers with double bears. We stick the little ears. And with help of a new brush, we wet the marshmallow a little bit. We add royal icing on the marshmallow and we stick the two pieces. We stick the little ears that are left. We immerse the skewers in water and insert the marshmallow. We put royal icing. And we introduce softly. To make the little bear we need, royal icing medium consistency. We place the piping bag on the marshmallow and we push, making circular movements until covering all the marshmallow. We fix Evers with a toothpick and we repeat. After a few minutes, we can make the little ears. We make the same thing with all of the other bears. We spread the royal icing with a toothpick. For the cheeks, we will use royal icing with a lighter color. We will let them dry completely. 
with this silicone mold and a little bit of pink fondant, we will make some little bows. We will use this edible shiny dust to give it a pearly tone and shiny to the bows. We will use an edible red dust and a big brush to make the little blushes. We stick the little bow with royal icing and we make the cute little eyes with an edible ink marker. We stick the little fondant nose with royal icing. Ah, look how cute it is. And we repeat the steps with the leftover bears. In the description box below, we will leave you the ingredients and direct links our best videos in our channel. The size of this box is 6 by 2.3 inches and it'll be for the little bears. We fold a sheet of tissue paper. with the same size of the box. We place the tissue paper inside the box and we put the bears into the box on a baking cup. If you like the little bears, please give us a like. For the skewers, we will use cellophane bags and some ribbons. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to receive all the notifications. This ribbon is 10 inches long and with it we will make a little bow. We repeat the steps with all of the skewers. Ah, look how cute they are. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. 
We will use a small balloon and a bucket for our centerpiece. First, we place the balloon in the center of the bucket over a piece of dry foam. Now we will place the skewers, the back slightly inclined. The ones that are in the front a little more closer to each other. We cut white tissue paper. First in three parts. Then in four parts, making it squares. We take a square of tissue paper. We take it to the center. And we fold it up. We place it on the dry foam. And with a skewer, we press the paper and we repeat the steps until covering the whole bucket. We remove the balloon to make a bow. The size of this ribbon is 23 by 2 inches. We fold the ribbon like this. We gather the center and we tie it with the wire. We check if the bow is perfectly folded in half. We twist the wire. We cut the edges and we tie the bow to the balloon. And we put it in place. Should 